Well, we're on our way to the mountains. We're up in Estes right now. And this is Kent and Kelsey on MrTruck.com. We're reviewing a 2019 Sierra Denali GMC. And it's loaded. And it's the sexy beast. It's the black and the chrome. Well, Kelsey, how much power do we have? We have 420 horsepower to 460 foot-pounds of torque. Cool. And what's transmission? Eight, 10 speed? 10 speed. All right. Yes. <laughs> I forgot to tell you. And I'll tell you the acceleration we're driving down the road. But come join us. We're going out here pulling this trailer. It's about 7,020 pounds. And it's not snowing. We're so happy just the wind's blowing, of course. Come join us. Cody Christian makes your trailer smoother ride. Isolates between the truck and the trailer. So your trailer doesn't fill the truck. The truck doesn't fill the trailer. Your horses have a better ride. Your cargo has a better ride. You have a better ride in the truck. So Chuck, is that a seat made for two or what is that? Uh, it's made for, yeah, at least two. This, you'll be a hit at the home with one of these. I'll be the hit at the home. <laughs> <laughs> well, Cousin Chuck, is there room for me too? Oh yeah. Oh, this is cool. I got an armrest. I got a butt rest. I'm happy. Yep. Which home do you live in? <laughs> <laughs> well, this is about right. We can sit here at a Bronco game and do that barbecuing thing. What's that called when you're doing all that in the football game? Tailgating. Tailgating. That's what this is. By we have tailgate. the proper tailgate to go watch football games. Yep. We can sit here and have the old ladies fry us up some sausages. <laughs> no, this is nice. This is nice. You got a built-in chair wherever you go. Go to the park with the grandkids, turn them loose, let them chase the geese, and we'll sit here and watch them. Whoa. He's got a rocking chair here. Got <laughs> to put this in gear. The new GMC Multi Pro just came out. It's on a lot of these GMCs. There's a few of them that doesn't come with standard, but it does some tricks. Of course, you got that, which is cool. Push a button, it drops. But it also, according to my cousin, you push this button. I thought I did it myself. It must be cold. That's what it is. It's really cold. And now you got a bar, man. You have your favorite beverage up here. Sit around and talk at some of these parties. But that is so cool. Now, let's see if I can drop it down from there. You're gonna have some pictures here. Okay. Are you still on? Now we'll hear the geese. I think it normally would drop down, but it's very cold here in Colorado. So that is how that works. And then is it this button I think to push the whole thing drop? Oh look at that. It does. And now, wait, there's more. You open this up, you just push a button, and that folds up if you want to haul cargo, and this actually helps keep it in there. Or if you want to drop it down, you push another button, and there it is. And then you can open it up in this position also. Now, what's cool, we set in this, and it's so nice. And here, these openings, those are for speakers. They have waterproof speakers you can put in there that you'd use on a boat, the marine grade. Then you can do a party, hardy at the old tailgate parties. But wait, there's one. It's got a little handle. Let me demonstrate. Can I lift the handle there? And now I'm up here. And I can see for miles. Too cool. It is just too cool. Oh. Basically, the whole shebang. Fold it up. If I can find all the buttons, I should release it. Then it goes back up. That is so cool. And then over here, they still have those same bumper cutouts and the big notch on the stake hole. So it's about one of the easiest trucks to get in the back of. So you can climb up this way, you can climb up on this tailgate. You can just do amazing tricks. All right. Oh, well, cool. Awesome. Now, this is what's cool is the steering wheel finally straight, the braking chores on the right side, 
this is tilt and telescope in one lever now let's see over here yeah twist that knob there you go now let me see if I can see the center so much Sun let's see if I can see I'm sorry see You're if right. I can see the center now roll through those and go to tow haul mode yeah there you go sport off-road tow haul mode one more time that's cool and that all comes from this knob here now so you have all that in a different place and there's your four-wheel drive shows you two auto and four low four high and there's your lights for your cargo light and there's your other light in that dash and this is electric park brake you push on it and then you release it you have to push on the brake and then push on it so which is cool as it's no longer cable now it's all done electrically so but you're it not gonna auto sets too yeah and it will kick off too if you take it forward and go forward on it so yeah all that is so cool on this Denali I love the Denali of course power seats on both sides this is yep. loaded 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 even has that wonderful sunroof it's already open yeah it's cool <laughs> this has a sliding rear window and we'll go over all the toys let me show you what's cool about the back seat I know okay <laughs> Now this has got that extra three inches of room in the back and it's four inches more wheelbase. So must have one inch goes to the front. But so yeah, yeah, look at all that leg room. Look at that. You got the center room. console. Heated seats, power, yeah. USB, oh, yeah. USB. That is good. Let's see if I can see that armrest. Nice little armrest. Yeah. And cup, holders. cup holders, yes. Don't you love it? And show me the secret, secret pocket. Oh, there's pockets on both sides. There's little puppies. Yeah, in here. so you can stick a few things in there. I saw the prototypes and you can actually go all the way through the middle. I must not like that idea because nope. now it's enclosed it's so you have a cubby hole on each side. Okay, well that's kind of neat. That's new for 19. Comfortable seats. Okay, extra three inches. Don't you love it? Four inches wheelbase. This is your favorite part is this step on the back bumper. It's the easiest step. Oh yeah. It's actually the only step you can buy that you can use with the trailer on there because all the other steps are all kind of in the way. So you got to have a corner step if you're going to do anything with trailers. But we know we've all seen the 2020 Heavy Duty, and they put a little step right there, which I really like for crossover toolboxes and all. But yeah, we'll see that this summer. Awesome. Now we're using my load trail, tilt trailer. It's a 22-footer. I've got all kinds of gadgets on here and a wind guard. And I've got two ATVs, but well, one's a side-by-side -side and one's an ATV. It's a tilt trader, and I just added these drive over fenders, which I really like for my Dodge Zilla. It's a wide truck, so we can get it on here is to drive on the fenders. This is cool, it's a tilt trailer. And we've only got two side by side SUV on here, and I can actually I put them on sideways and get four of them on there, which is so awesome. And of course, you gotta see the shock straps. I use these shock straps on everything. You got a dog bone wheel green machine that lets you stretch. And those are too cool. Use these every time we load the shock straps. And up here, another thing we use all the time is our Gen Y hitch. And this is the one that has the torsion cushion in it, so it takes a bump out of the ride, and it's got anti-sway bar. You hear it creaking down the road, you turn corners, but it really stabilizes this trailer. And this is a half ton. They need all the help they can get. We'll find out exactly how much this squatted. Awesome. Yep, there's the brake controller. And now it's over on the right side. Right That's side right, of the steering wheel. Yes, now we can make time when we have to grab that independent of our foot brakes. This has a nice dash layout. I mean, look, it's got a knob for the fan instead of the stupid toggle switches. Yes, nice layout of switches. It all makes a lot of sense to me. There's a lot of switches down there. Yes, awesome. Yeah, this has a lot of charging ability. To USB, USB C, and 12 volts and 110. I think is behind door number three. Yep. It's too cool. And then, of course, we're used to the double glove box. So you can get a lot of storage. It's really good to have storage because you'd, you'd rather have it inside of a, a, a facility than flying around in an accident. Because you know, like me, 
I probably put too much junk on my dash, and you know where that's going to land if I have an accident. In your lap? Yeah, so it's always good to have little places to store things out of the way, out of danger. Here's invisibility. Give me your opinion on that. It's available okay. 20 points. So we're going to go with like a 13.5, 13. They yeah. are the longer mirrors, but they are shorter. Oh, they're not real tall. Yeah, they're deep. They're not really yeah. tall. Yeah, exactly. Um, so even when I've got my mirrors out so where I can see my tires on the trailer, I can't see any of the middle pillar. I'm okay. literally at the back of the truck and the tire. That's it. Okay. So it leaves me quite a big blind spot. <coughs> um, the hood's good. I, I mean, I can yeah. see up and over the hood. The windshield is green. <coughs> I like the rearview mirror. It's kind of... Yeah, that's that new funky sporty. camera mirror, which is, is different. Sporty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, cool. We got that figured out. Okay. And so me, well, I'm going to look at these mirrors. And the mirrors, I think the pedestal is a new thing for GM. It's down on the door. It's not here in the corner anymore. Giving you a little bit of that blind spot removal there between the mirror and the body. The Dodge or Ram has a lot more room in there. And in Ford's a taller mirror. So thinking about those, and I think the back window is too small. I think that big ABC pillar right there, almost like a Hummer, I mean, it's great for safety and seat belts, but I think we lose some of our rear view visibility, even though it has this really cool camera rear view mirror that's a little brighter. <coughs> so I'm gonna give it, I don't know, 20, I'm gonna give it, uh, um, <coughs> I'll give it, well, shoot, I'm going to give it 14. So I'll put 14 down. Now, what do you think about acceleration with the trailer? This is at 6.2. Yeah, How does I, it accelerate? I've had no problems getting on to 36 and on to the highway twice with this trailer. Yeah. It's not at full weight, but, I mean, it didn't act like there was anything back there for it being over half full. So... I'm, I am going to give it the 20 on that one. Okay. The 10, whatever we can account yeah, for. Yeah, I understand. Because driving it with the trailer, getting on highway, is it's been a blessing. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. I agree that 6.2 is a powerhouse. I mean, I don't know if, if any of them accelerate faster. I mean, the EcoBoost may, at this altitude, do a little quicker, but be very, very close. So I'm going to go with you. You want to go with 20. So we'll add up the scores, I'll measure the squat, and then we'll be able to report that at the end of this video, what we came out with. So, watch the whole video. Flying through the mountains with the trader now, we're a little over 7,000 pounds. I want you to help us a second, let me grab some stuff out of this giant cubby hole. There's a giant cubby right there. Yeah, yeah, we're pulling this low trail tilt trader, 22 footer. Truck empty weight 5,880 and the trailer. So our gross was at 12,900 with the trailer weighing in a 7,020 pounds. Which right, is, seven. yeah, we are above seven. And this, I will show you in the door. That's a cool thing about what they've done to these trucks for this year. Yeah, Kelsey's taking some curves. <laughs> <laughs> oh, never. I think you moved that because I didn't curve full. <laughs> okay, what what highway is this? This is 36? Okay, I'm going to ask this. We should just switch back some good curves and Kelsey's taking advantage of the handling of this wonderful truck because I'm sure it has that new adaptive handling on here that automatically adjusts all that. It's not heavy, it's light, it turns wonderfully. Yeah, yeah, it's well balanced. It's squatted more than I thought it would for 7,000 pounds. Well, on the door panel, it tells you how much yeah, it's awesome. It tells you, of course, your gross vehicle weight rating, your gross combined weight rating, your rear axle weight rating, your weight distributing weight. And so it doesn't tell you exactly what the trailer is, but it tells you what the tongue weight is. So I know they calculate that at 10% like they do for the SAE J2807. J so they've agreed to do all that. So I know that's kind of what it is. But um, so we'll just add a zero to the tongue weight and we'll know what our trailer weight is. This is 10% of that big number, the X numbers. You remember high school math. So we'll tell you that here when we get stopped at best. Okay, what's cool in the door well is this little sticker, and that tells you everything. And see, so you can see there what shows max tongue weight at 930. Well, I know the way they calculate this, add a zero to that, now you're 9,300 
is what maximum trailer oh. capacity. And there's your curb weight, it's 5,600. I actually weighed that. Let's see how close to that is. And then there's your gross combined at 15,000. Gross vehicle weight rating is 71. And then look at that, there is your gross at rear axle weight rating is 3,800. Looks like 1,500 pound maximum payload. Don't you love those numbers? Those are the important ones. You don't have to go online, look up 15 websites. So what do you think about that, Kelsey? It makes it pretty easy. Yeah, it's awesome for trailers. Easy. But uh, yeah, it's so good to get all these numbers. And so now you can go buy a truck by looking in the door. You don't have to go try to finally figure it out after 15 websites. So it's, it's good, it's all good. And now what we're doing too, we're trying to add more value to this so you folks get more out of our videos. So come out with a scale, because you know, I'm all about trailers. And yeah, we have to use a truck for this trailer, which is how it is. But anyhow, and Kelsey's a trailer, but she can do anything to try to back it up and load it up. So come up with some scores. I got five different things that I thought were valuable about knowing about a new trailer. So we're going to start scoring. Okay. And so this is Kelsey's first time hearing about it, so I want you to think about it on the way up there. And anyway, number one, trader control at maximum weight. Now, I'm sorry we're not at maximum weight. That's over 9,000 pounds, and we're staying over 7,000. But that gives you a 20 point score. So, how do you think it works, you know, at the, at the weight we can get it to, or close to the maximum rating as we can? Number two, also worth 20 points, is truck handling. Of course, that includes the squat. So how do you think it handles on the curves? You know, does it wobble around the road? Does it sway too much? Because we're using the sway control on the Gen Y adjustable hitch, the torsion hitch. So it gives us some, some cushion and sway control, as well as weight distributing. So that's for 20 points. And then how you can reach the controls. Because some of them are good, some of them are bad. And you know, this even has the fan knob, which I give a lot of points for that. So I can't handle a button and try to turn a fan up driving down the road. But, so how well you can reach the controls, and we'll talk about the trailer brake controller. Is it in the right spot? Is it, you know, is it powerful? And then the number four is mirrors and window visibility, also worth 20 points. I mean, how the, can you see up over the hood? Can you see out the back windows? Can you see around the A, B, and C, the other pillars? And that's what that's all about. And then what are the mirrors like? Because there's, you know, and, and I'm thinking too on the mirrors, and you're just, your 20 points on that. I would, it's really hard to get these trucks with trailer mirrors. I mean, sometimes on a TFL, they can get them when they get, you know, four or five at a time, and that works well, but one at a time for me, I can't always get trailer toy mirrors, so we're going to kind of just basically adjust it against all the other trucks we get with these same kind of mirrors, and that's going to be worth 20 points. And then the last one, worth 20 points, is how does it accelerate with a trailer? Is it doggy? Does it have plenty of power? Can you get on an on-ramp and get into traffic without getting in trouble? So that's what that's about. So there's 100 points total there. So we'll look at that and see how close we can get to adding these up and give you a number for each one of these trucks that we're going to be reviewing from now into the future. So hopefully that'll give you some idea when you're going to go look for a truck and see if it's going to be a good trailer truck for you. And I sure hope that the speakers are working. <laughs> so I'm trying to get better, better speakage. So I think I'll actually probably listen to this one and see what it sounds like so we can improve it on the way down the mountain if we have to. But... Well, I can tell you right now that this is not a doggy truck, even with getting on. I mean, we're only at 7,000 pounds, but it's, I mean, I pulled out of two little parkings and it hasn't had a problem I'm yeah. getting it going. This is the 6.2, the biggest, powerfulest, most powerful engine in the half ton class. And we'll talk about horsepower and torque on that a little bit, but yeah, the 6.2 is their hot dog. And it can be very fast, but it's even faster at sea level the turbos rule but yes it's it's very powerful V8 one of my favorite V8s actually and you hear the rumble you can hear it and, and that's not by any means flooring it but you can hear it yeah well I'll get the headphones we'll check out our microphones and then we'll have more to tell you because I want to show you some other things and I don't let me forget Kelsey but I was when I was uh, looking at the trailer last night, loading all this stuff, I had them all ready to go, and there's a little red light somewhere up here in the dash. And that little red light, it flashes all the time when you shut it off, because that's the security, security thing, the braking light. And when 
hooked, hooked to the trailer, it was actually flashing through the trailer. About every 10 seconds, okay. that light goes off, and then so did the trailer lights. So they weren't a bright the trailer light. Too? Well, I don't know what that means. And maybe, maybe so, but I'm going to hook it, and all of a sudden, the alarm goes off. I don't know. Because <laughs> I unplugged it last night, because even though the truck is all LED lights, and the trailer's all LED lights, and I heard it easy thing, I thought, well, goodness, if I leave it plugged in, and that thing flashes, drive? yeah, it's going to drain the battery. So I thought, thinking, well, that would happen if you drained your battery at any point. How would you get in, open the hood, and, you know, boost it? So then I remember, oh, yeah, they hide a key in the, in the key fob. I just the key fob. Jeez. Is that, did I throw it in here? I have no idea where you put it. I think I did. Yeah, there it is. It's in the top of the key. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I can even do that now. It only works for the doors for valet. Yeah. But. But what is cool, I hope you can see that. See that little rascal there? Now, this hidden key is on the side. There's a little door there. You push in on that button, and then you pull on the end like that. And now you have a key that will unlock your door. Even though you don't think you have a key, you have a hidden key. A lot of vehicles have that. And it goes right on the end of that, and then you can unlock your door, open your hood, charge your battery, whatever you need to do. I do believe it locks your glove box, too. Oh, it does? And then if any of the vehicles have, like, safes or... Oh, yeah, you're right, it does. It locks the blood box. Yeah. I can get into all those things that were important. So now, I guess I didn't need to worry about unplugging the trailer, but I was being safe because I did not want to try to break in this vehicle to charge the batteries. <laughs> now I know I didn't have to. So that's how that goes. And then another thing I'm going to show you is this. It's flashing like crazy. It's actually my tire pressure monitor and all that stuff flashing. You can see the heat and you can see the pressure. And I love using this. When I get up there with these trailers, I don't have a blowout. I don't have, you know, if it shows me a lot of heat, then I know it's a bearing or a brake issue. Or it tells me air pressure. Up to 203 pounds. This is from Tucson RV brakes. I use these. I love these. I have one, two of my trailers. And I tell you, what tires cost, and you know, it's just the tire cost. It's breaking your your fender off your trailer, which happens on blowouts, and all the downtime you have. And if you got horses on board, you know, they're going to get hot before you get everything all fixed up again in the summertime, especially in Arizona. So I love these things. I use them on all my trailers, actually, so I can tell what's going on, find that problem before it becomes a problem. Well, we're getting closer to getting it figured out. We're going down the mountain now, which is too cool. Let me tell you more about this truck, and it is... Of course, it's a Denali. That means loaded, loaded. Shape of finally came out of the high country, which is similar to Denali. But Denali has real metal in it. The aluminum trim for the high country is plastic. And this has got like the real wood. It's got all the, the real stuff. It's a real luxury truck. It's been around. I know the Quadrasteer was born on a Denali. Actually, the Denali and the Quadrasteer came out at the same time. All the Denali's that first year had Quadrasteer. And probably for the next year or two before things hit the fan with Denali and GM. But, yes indeedy, beautiful day in the mountains. Of course there's wind. For some reason we just get wind the best is every time we're up here. It used to be that way. It was only in the spring and now it's all the time. But we tricked it. We got a cord and microphone. Hopefully that'll sound good when you see us talk about it. But we're pulling this 22 foot Low chill, tilt trailer, and it uh, with these with the side by side Honda and the ATD Honda, we come in at 7,020 pounds. Nothing for this motor. Nothing. That 420 horsepower and 460 torque just screams. You can just mention. Now, this is rated at 20 miles to the gallon on the highway and 17 combined, 15 in the city. Now, for my just pulling this trailer around, I was getting about 10.5 miles to the gallon, which any gas engine, any trailer, all will pull you down dramatically. That's just how it works. These are running higher RPMs. But uh, the, the controls are a little different. They got little toggle switches and rollers and the okay. steering wheel. Rollers and toggles. And... Yeah, it takes a while to figure it out. Okay. Well, we out of gas at 62 miles. Yeah. That's alright, we're going down the hill. Yeah, we're doing fine. A little bit of sun coming out here. You probably see that on the camera. It's yeah, not a kind of deal. Yeah, I got the moonroof, it only helps us a little bit through that moonroof. But this, the MS, our PRS. 70 or 80. Uh, it's only $67,340. It's pretty 
Yeah, it is pretty. And let's see. It has a lot of packages on here, and the Nally by itself gives you a bunch of stuff, but this is the 10-speed automatic on the 6.2. Got a heavy duty lock and rear differential. Of course, it's the two speed automatic transfer case, which is what you want. They also have that automatic one that doesn't necessarily have a low range as an option, but not on this puppy. And this has got, oh, adaptive ride control. That's what you're talking about. This actually automatically adjusts to what the conditions are on the road. You know, it can fill potholes, it can fill curves, and it will adjust for that. It's all automatic. That is just so sweet that you can do all that. But I love the depth of air control. Now this has the pro grade trailering system and trailer brake controller, a good one. This also has that special tailgate. I've already done a video of that. I will add that to this video. The so you can see. The half fold. Yeah, it folds, it folds down and it folds down again and as the lift comes up, it actually makes a real nice chair. My cousin and <laughs> I were sitting there. And then, you know, you can use it to, to hold cargo in with a lift that flips up and, I'll show you all that because it is awesome. It's only on GMC. Chevy has the power up and down tailgate. Yep. GMC's only on this pro trailering tailgate. Or pro, it's pro adjustable. Let's see. Let me find you an exact name because it does have a name on here somewhere. I know I've got the button inside that I can open it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the opening is pretty cool. This has a 323 axle ratio. Which, you know, the 342 is a really powerful one for towing. So it doesn't have this. It has dynamic fuel management. So this could actually shut off all but two cylinders. It can shut off okay. uh, six cylinders. That's save pretty interesting. Fuel. Yeah, save you some fuel. This is 22 inch polished aluminum wheels. Yeah, this is the Multi Pro Power Steps. Uh, let's see, Multi Pro Power Steps. That is the running board. Yep. Running board that comes out when the door opens. Yeah, yeah, and then it, it actually kicked the back button and it goes backwards. This has the Denali Ultimate True Ultimate Package. Denali Ultimate Package. <laughs> and that is the H2, the heavy duty surround mirror. Is this the one that's a camera? Yeah. This might be the one that's a camera. But anyway, it has all that on it. And it's a 3 by 7 heads up, well, heads up display I love. This has got a lot of information on your heads up display. Yeah, that is new. For this year too, it, it give you more gadgets to put on your windshield, and I really like them. I mean, these are fun to watch. Well, it's informative. I can not be looking down at the speedometer. I know exactly where I'm at on fuel. I know there's a lot of things up here. Yeah, it says automatic headlights, it has the front pedestrian braking, low speed forward automatic braking, lane keep assist, forward collision alert. <laughs> like I say, you know, you gotta try hard to ever crash one of these. It's amazing. The rear camera and mirror. So that's what that is. That's that's actually mirror. a camera and not just a reflective thing. So it gives you a wider panoramic view of things, but it's just kind of hard because it's sharper than most mirrors too. So you can actually get a better view. It's interesting though. But anyway, this is one loaded puppy, this sexy beast. It's got the 80 inch diagonal touch screen, which is good. It's a Boise premium sound. Yes, indeed. All that stuff costs money. There you go. It is called the GMC Multi-Pro Tailgate with Lift Assist and Power Lock and Release. That's actually the name of it. You got a 3D vision on this too, actually. It shows you all around the truck. Mm -hmm. And when you go forward, you first start up, it'll show you the forward camera. And it's got a couple seconds on there too. Yeah, that is cool. So you can see if you're running over anybody in the front or you know, dogs right in front of you or whatnot. So I like that. And then the backup camera is very good on this. And then it stays on for a few seconds. It's so much easier to hook up to a trader now than the old days. We all appreciate it's that. I think this has got a power sliding rear window too. Got it. Yeah, it's got just about everything. A lot of controls, like sitting inside an aircraft cockpit. I sit here and play with all these gadgets. But cool. Yeah, you. it's getting to where you really have to read your orders, man. In <laughs> the old days, you didn't have to. Hey, Chelsea. <laughs>
Oh, yeah, first one. For Trey, yeah, first one. Uh, 20 points available. For trainer control, it's a maximum weight. What did you think about how it handled the trainer? Well, it's handling the trailer. I did lock them up back there when there was some big one sheep on the road. Yeah, that's so, more of a break thing. That's more of a break. Handling. Well, how did it handle during that time? Did it? it did no problem, no swaying, no, no nothing. So, okay. Out of 20, what do you think? Out of 20, I'd give her a 20. Really? Oh, that's cool. Okay, that's fine. Well, until answer. I get something awful. <laughs> well, that's true. And I thought, well, of course, we do have the weight distribution yet from Gen Y on there. I, I, so, I don't have any sway. I don't yeah. have any any problems with this trailer. That's um, true. I didn't either. Plenty of power. I mean, every yeah. once in a while, I hear the pop from the weight distributing hitch, but that's... Yeah, and that's, that's, that's the hitch. Not, I can't count yeah, that against the truck. Trailer. Yeah, that's normal controller for that. That's yeah. good. I would actually give it 20 also. Yeah. So, what about... So, we're going to get 200 points out of this. <laughs> what about truck handling in the spot? You can't really give me a full score because of that. I don't know where it was before because when it showed right. up in my house, it was they had a truck on it. So. Yeah, I think it squats too much, but I won't know that number, so we'll hold off on that. Well, what do you think about truck handling? Give me 10 points or less for truck handling. 10 points for truck handling? Yeah. This adapted steering has yeah. been awesome. It's light, it's not heavy, it's turning, it's not... Yeah, it's, it's rack and pinion. I think it's electronic rack and pinion. But the, uh, the sweet so you thought, what do you think, Hammond, you're going to give it 10, you're going to give it 8? What do you think? 8 to 10. Eight, well, come on, give come me a on. number. I need a number. Let's go 9. A 9, a okay, give you a 9 there. Then I'll, I'll figure out the squat later. What, uh, I guess... I thought these handled really well because this has that. It's not adaptive steering, but it's adaptive. It's, it's a handling control thing. Yeah, but the handling's been pretty good. Yeah, it's not leaning, it's not swaying, it's not. Yeah, I like it too. I think without the trader, you haven't had that advantage yeah. of driving without a trader, but I have, and, and I think it gets it gives you a little better control because it's stiffer. Okay. But I, I, I'm an old man. I almost like some more of that Cadillac right. ride that, that, that they used to have <laughs> on the old type, the magnetic shocks, magnetic. Uh, uh, shocks were better about being softer all the time. So I like that. So I'm going to have to give it eight just because I'm an old man. <laughs> now the controls and factory brake control, we all love it because it's on the right it's side. Right here. What do you think but about the rest of the controls? And all that combined is 20 I'm, points. I'm, I'm a little weirded on the little knob because oh, for the, it does for not the, stay in my tow hole mode. Yeah, that's so true. So that kind of that kind of <laughs> docks it down for me because okay. if I've got a trailer on it and I push the button, when I turn it back on and the trailer's still on, my tow hole should still be on. Okay, I, I understand. Um, so there's that. Um, the brake controller, they did put it in the right place. It's not some funky knob. It, it, it's functioning. Yes. Perfect, right yes. here. Um, I'd go, it's out of 20. Yeah, 20 for everything, including the brake control, so yeah. I'd go with a 15. I'm going to take 5 from that oh, that's, knob. That's fine. <laughs> so what's your opinion on this? Now, I think yeah, I think everything is very reachable. Uh, I agree with you. I wish the tow mode, in the old days, it did. When it was on the end of the stem, yeah. it just stayed on. Well, now it's clear on the left side, and it's got that special knob where you can go off-roading and all those other things. So well, actually, And I got four buttons to get to the tow call because I've got to turn it four times. Exactly. So that's yeah. That is. You're, you're very very right. So I'm, I'm going to agree with you on that totally. I'm going to go 15. Now the mirrors. Now the we're, mirrors. we're you know we're not going to say we wish we had tow hole mirrors. We do, but well, I wish compared, we did. Yeah, compared to the <laughs> other trucks we're driving you know, with these, the stand. I mean, these are long mirrors. They're, they're, they're not long. They're not tall, but they yeah. are long, and I can yeah. see edge to edge of the trailer, no problem. Okay. So for being a small mirror, I'm probably at a 20. Yeah, and that's window visibility too. Keep in mind right, you know, how well the, how well you see the windshield, how well you see out past the A pillar, B pillar, the rear window, well, all that. To see my outside of my trailer where that tire sit, I can't see the middle pillar. Not in the mirror. I can't see yeah. the backside. I'm literally at the backside of the Denali. So I'm gonna take some points for that. Okay. Um, even though it is the longer mirror, but right. that pillar is completely missing if I've got a trailer. 